Hello, everybody. Uh, it's Morgan here from Wrong Electronics. Um, today is an exciting day. We've got the Soundstage 2, which is released today. Um, you probably know the original Soundstage. Um, it's been out of production for a little while. We got some more chips to build it with, um, but we decided to make a few little changes while we were doing that. Um, so as you can probably see, the most obvious one is the effects send and return. Here we've got stereo effects send and return. Uh, it can also be used in mono if you patch in just the left channels. You could go mono out, stereo back in. You can use these stereo ins to chain it with other mixes as well. Um, uh, couple of interesting things about that. The um, These stereo inputs here are not controlled by the level control. So if you've got a uh, reverb coming in and then you turn down the mix with everything, um, your reverb keeps going. So it sounds a bit more natural. Um, and the effect sends are fully filtered. Um, so the depth control doesn't change the depth of filtering from the effect sends. They're always fully filtered, um, which is a great thing for reverbs. It means your reverbs have a lot more definition uh, and kind of they, uh, your your sounds are sort of defined really nicely before you send to the reverb. So it means you can send a lot of stuff to the reverb without it uh, getting too crowded or muddy. Uh, other changes that we've made, um, now all of the outputs, even the filtered ones, they all go through the same uh, low frequency bump on the low end here. So it means um, uh, when you have your depth uh, sort of turned halfway, it means you don't get any extreme low frequencies coming from uh, any of the higher inputs. Uh, the depth control has been improved. So uh, you've now got kind of even volume throughout the depth range. Um, the original version, because of uh, the way the circuit was designed, uh, it could have a volume dip in the middle of the in, in the middle of the depth, depending on where your level output was. Um, we've improved that, so no, now no matter where your level is, you get a smooth fade throughout the depth range. Um, and the last thing is the level control um, is now logarithmic. So that means if you want to patch it up uh, as a compressor or for ducking or expanding or as an accent, um, it gives a more natural kind of response. Uh, yeah, um, it means that the the sort of fade on the knob feels a bit different to the original one, which was linear. Um, but I think it's, it's a good improvement. It, it means it's uh, much more natural, uh, much more usable. Um, cool, I'm just going to patch in a couple of things here so I can show. So here we've just got a it's kind of quite bassy drone here going into the low end. So with the depth up, that gives a lot of nice definition. patch it up higher there you can see that really cleans out the bottom end which would leave you a lot of room for your bases if you were using this as a lead patch maybe but then if you patch it back in here into the base or if you want it really subby um, probably put headphones on to hear this properly because a lot of low end there. Um, yeah, so you can hear that the uh, The depth circuit is nice and smooth, no matter where you've got the level. 
Um, I'll just patch in a little bit of reverb here. So we've got a mono spring reverb. Just patch it in on the left. And you can hear there that 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 reverb is just getting sent. The filtered signal here will patch in a bit higher. You can hear the the difference in tone from the reverb. It's even brighter now. And that means that you're able to put a lot of reverb on stuff without it um, sounding too muddy or full in the mix. Okay, now I'm going to just patch in this sequence and I got Pam's uh, sending some accents to the level control. Here we go. So that's the sequence coming straight through. Now here you can see the levels kind of adding like an accent to the whole thing we can use a stereo reverb as well see if we back the level right off the reverb isn't being uh, affected by the level Yeah, that is Soundstage 2. Uh, it's out now. 